Oh no, friends! The federal government is at risk of shutting down, and that's if lawmakers in Congress do not come to an agreement before February 18th. Top Democrats and Republicans are holding meetings to quickly reach a deal on government funding and a fourth stimulus package. This is crazy news, friends. Please, friends, remember that I'm here every day to support all seniors, Social Security, SSI, SSDI, RRB, and VA beneficiaries. I am 100% committed to being your daily advocate to help you all as much as I can during this crisis. So friends, please make sure to share this video on social media and also with your friends if they need more honest stimulus news. And if you're interested in entering this coming Friday's Walmart gift card giveaway, please stay tuned until the end of this video. Now, Madam President, as our country continues to recover from the darkest days of the COVID-19 pandemic, last week we received a remarkable bit of news. The U.S. economy grew 5.7%, 5 5.7% in 2021. Let me say it again. Last year, the U.S. economy grew by 5.7%, the largest single-year growth rate in about 40 years. Last year's economic growth did not happen on its own. Faced with a historic crisis, Democrats took unprecedented steps in 2021 to give American families and businesses the support they needed to make ends meet and stay healthy. And though we have more work to do to lower costs and expand opportunity, we are undeniably better off today than we were a year ago when we first took office. It is frightening when we first took office as a majority Senate. It is frightening to merely remember how bad things were at the start of 2021. We were entering the very worst of the pandemic. The economy had its worst year since World War II, and 11 million people were out of work. More than 3,000 Americans were dying each day from COVID-19. But Democrats responded by passing the American Rescue Plan two months into the President's term. We later passed a historic infrastructure package that's putting people to work fixing our roads and our bridges and our highways. And thanks to the heroism of health workers, the leadership of the Biden administration, and action taken by congressional Democrats, over 200 million Americans have now been vaccinated. Because of these steps that Democrats took last year, Unemployment has plummeted faster than many forecasts for predicted a year ago to below 4%. The economy added the largest number of manufacturing jobs in three decades. Congressional negotiators are in danger of missing the February 18th deadline for passing a massive spending package of the annual appropriations for fiscal 2022. If an agreement is not reached soon, the federal government might have to shut down. Members of the Senate Appropriations Committee from both parties warn that if negotiators blow through the mid-February deadline, it increases the likelihood that President Biden will have to settle for a year-long stopgap funding measure to keep the government open. That would prevent him from putting his own stamp on the department and agency budgets, while Democrats control Congress. And as a result, Senate Democrats right now are prioritizing passage of the massive spending bill ahead of the Build Back Better Act, which the House passed in November of 2021, but then stalled last month because of the opposition from Senate Democrat Joe Manchin. Senate Democrat Chris Murphy is a chairman of the Senate Appropriations Committee. Senator Murphy said in an official statement, I think the budget has to be next. To be honest, I want the Build Back Better bill to be done but we have a narrow window to pass a budget, and I want to make sure we get a budget deal. Senator Murphy also added, if we miss this deadline, it becomes really hard to avoid a year-long continuing resolution. Friends, I know that many of you are wondering what this could mean for the American people. Well, continuing resolution is a temporary funding measure that Congress can use to fund the federal government for a limited amount of time. Right now, many lawmakers are worried that Biden might not have a chance to put his stamp on the nation's spending priorities. While Democrats control both branches of Congress, 
Amid a wave of Democratic retirements in the House and expectations that Republicans will flip the lower chamber in the midterm elections. But the prospect of getting the funding bill passed in the next three weeks is slipping by. One Democratic aide said it would be extraordinary if the package gets wrapped up by February 18th, while Republican aide said that it's going to be hard to get it done by that date. Lawmakers will continue to complete negotiations as quickly as possible. Friends, the keyword for this video is spaghetti. If you would like to enter this coming Friday's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like my videos, comment below this keyword and also any other keyword from any video of mine that you watch, and please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, friends. Now, friends, here is some big news for many families. The Internal Revenue Service is now accepting tax returns and to avoid delays in receiving one's refund, encourages taxpayers to file as soon as possible. To ensure a timely return, the agency advises that you review the return thoroughly, filing electronically, and provide the IRS with direct deposit information. So for those who received child tax credit payments last year as well, a separate letter is also being sent out to those families. The recovery rebate credit must be filed as part of your 2021 tax returns and the IRS made it clear they would not calculate the rebate for you. In addition to new parents, those who welcome the child through adoption or foster care in 2021 are also encouraged to claim the child tax credit. By claiming them as a dependent, they may also be eligible to receive the full value of the child tax credit, which is worth $3,600 for children under the age of 6 and $3,000 for those between 6 and 17. The IRS has also said that families may be eligible if they added a dependent, such as a parent, a nephew or niece, or a grandchild on their 2021 income tax return, who was not listed as a dependent on their 2020 income tax return. The third stimulus check was sent to all eligible American families starting back in March of 2021 as part of the American Rescue Plan Act. Since the distribution of the third stimulus check was based on a filer's 2020 tax return, some may be eligible if their incomes have decreased last year. Well, good friends, that is the end of this daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very much for everyone who has joined me here today. I greatly appreciate all of you. To say thank you, I'm giving away Walmart gift cards every Friday. Remember, if you'd like to enter the giveaway, please remember to comment below the keyword from each video that you watch. And also make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Monday.